With the death of the Archdemon, the Blight was defeated. But the Darkspawn did not simply disappear. Most of the Horde scattered north from Denerim towards the coastlands. And there, fractured into warring tribes. The region fell into chaos as the Darkspawn emerged from hidden lands to terrorize the countryside. As the new Warden Commander of Ferelden, it is your responsibility to rebuild the Order and deal with the lingering threat. You have come to Amaranthine to join the rest of the Grey Wardens at Vigil's Keep, once home to Arl Rendon Howe, but now property of the Order. The lack of a proper welcoming party as you grow close, however, indicates that something is amiss. What's going on? Why are there no Wardens here to greet us? Something is wrong. Quickly, Commander! <laughs> It's you, the hero of Ferelden. Oh, thank the Maker. There was someone right behind me. A mage. He might have been a warden, I don't know. All I heard was screams and people dying. I got out as fast as I could and ran into these... You need to help them. You need to do something. I think there was a mage right behind me. He might have been a warden, I don't know. I'll see if I can't find some help. There has to be a patrol on the road. We don't have a lot of time, Commander. Oh, pardon me, Commander. I'd assumed proper introductions would be taken care of at the Keep. My name is Myrie. I was a knight in the King's service until I was recruited a month ago, but I haven't taken my joining yet. The Seneschal sent me to bring you back. I was not expecting this. This isn't a blight. How could they be so organized? I don't understand. Other than an archdemon, you mean? Frightening thought. Varel the Seneschal. He is the Keep Steward, I believe, working for the Wardens. Right, let's teach these evil bastards a lesson. Unbelievable. The Keep has been overwhelmed. How did the Wardens not sense the Darkspawn coming? I don't understand it. For the Darkspawn to have ambushed the Keep so effectively, I didn't know they were capable of such a thing. I hear you, Commander. You can count on me. Uh, I didn't do it. Hey, I recognize you from the circle. I, I, I know what they've been saying about me, but this, not my doing. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not broken up about them dying, to be perfectly honest. Biff there made the funniest gurgle when he went down. Of course. Well, they helped a little before they tragically died. I am Anders, at your service. Mage and wanted apostate. An apostate? At Vigil's Keep? You weren't here when we arrived. I'm sure I would have remembered such a lovely woman as yourself. We were just stopping here on our way back to the tower. Just a short rest, they said, and now they're dead. Such a shame. So they kept saying, although come to think of it, there's no real way to know for sure, is there? The Templars captured me and were taking me back, and then, you know, Darkspawn attacked. Could be a sign. Yes. Then you have it. Are you sure about this, Commander? I can't say I'm fond of these Darkspawn, even though I'm no Grey Warden. Let's deal with them now, and we can discuss what comes later. Later. Whoa, oh, we're scared now! Don't come over here! Take more than that to kill us, beasties! Come again if you dare! Ah! Aha! There you are! <laughs> 
when these dark spawns showed up, I thought, just you wait until the new commander gets here and you'll all be spitting teeth out of your arses. Followed the screaming, and sure enough, here you are. Good on ya! Doubting your eyes, huh? <laughs> I get like that after the fifth bottle or so. Came here thinking I might try my hand at becoming a bona fide Grey Warden. <laughs> he was here when I left. I can't believe the Wardens didn't kick him out. Well, hey, if it isn't the recruit with a great rack. Yes, a prize for the Wardens, to be sure. I know, I know. Too good to be true, right? <laughs> hey, who's the mage? Boyfriend? Should I leave you two alone? Wow, a dwarf that smells like a brewery. You never see that anywhere. <laughs> A mage comedian? Thought those normally died young. I find that hard to believe. As do I. Now, let's go introduce some darkspawn arses to my foot. Only polite thing to do. Myri? Roland! Commander, Roland was a knight recruited from Denerim like me. We must do something for him. He looks beyond healing magic. Maybe a shot of whiskey for the pain? I like the way you think. Stop joking! This isn't funny. The... the, the commander? We only had a moment's warning. Before they were on us, commander. The Seneschal ordered a counterattack, but they came out of nowhere. This one with them. A dark spawn who talks. Uh, his magic is powerful. A talking darkspawn? The lad must be delirious. <laughs> There's something in my blood. Ah, it hurts. It was an honor to meet you, Commander. I wish I could have fought at your side just once. I will avenge you, Roland. I swear it. It has ended, just as he foretold. Be taking this one gently. We are wishing no more death than is necessary. Necessary? As if your kind has ever done anything else. You are thinking you know of our kind, human? It is understandable, but that will soon be changed. Others will come, creature. They will stop you. There it is. It seems your words be true. More than you are guessing. It is talking. Well, let's shut it up already. Commander. Capture the Grey Warden. These others, they may be killed. Commander, I owe you my life. Hmm. Soldiers on the road. It seems we have more company. Hopefully they're more hospitable than our previous guests. Like I've arrived a bit late. Too bad. I rather miss the whole darkspawn killing thing. King Alistair. I'd wanted to come and give the wardens a formal welcome. I certainly wasn't expecting this. What's the situation? What darkspawn remained have fled, Your Majesty. The Grey Wardens who had arrived from Orlais appear to be either dead or missing. Missing? As in taken by the darkspawn? Do they even do that? I do not know, Your Majesty. I know only that we cannot account for all the Wardens. I see. At least the hero of Ferelden is still here and alive. That's something, right? That's a bit of an understatement, isn't it? Ah, oh, you have quite the task ahead of you. 
Really, I'd like to help you fight Darkspawn, but you're on your own for the moment. Hey, what am I? Chop nug livers? From the smell, that's not a bad guess. I came here to join the Grey Wardens, and from the looks of it, you could use the extra hands. Now where's the giant cup? I'll gargle and spit! Yeah, <laughs> that's what I always say. I... suppose all are welcome in this dire time. Joining the Wardens, eh? Well, good luck with that. King Alistair, your majesty beware, this man is a dangerous criminal. Oh, the dwarf is a bit of an ass, but I wouldn't go that. She means me. This is an apostate who we are in the process of bringing back to the circle to face justice. Oh, please. The things you people know about justice would fit into a thimble. I'll just escape again, anyhow. Never. I will see you hanged for what you've done here, murderer. Murderer? But those Templars were... Oh, what's the use? You won't believe me, anyhow. It seems there isn't much to say. Unless... You have something to add, Commander? What? Never! I believe the Grey Warden still retain the right of conscription, no? I will allow it. If... If your Majesty feels it is best. Ha! <laughs> Way to go, kid! Welcome aboard! Me? A Grey Warden? I guess that will work. Congratulations, Sir Mage. I look forward to fighting at your side. Then if you have everything under control, I will need to take my leave. I believe the estate has been secured, yes. We have suffered great losses, but the Darkspawn are gone, and there are survivors. Oh, excuse my manners. I am Vero, Seneschal of Vigil's Keep, and I am most grateful for your timely rescue, Commander. I will aid you in ruling the lands of Amaranthine. But as Commander of the Grey, you are the equivalent of our Arl as well. Come and speak to me soon. There are many matters to attend to, not the least of which is the joining. You will need to replenish your numbers. The security of Ferelden relies on the Grey Wardens now, even weakened as the Order is. It will be up to you to deal with the vestiges of the Blight before the situation grows out of control. No easy task. But I'm confident you are up to it. Good luck, Commander. May the Maker watch over you. Before we do anything else, Commander, there's an urgent matter we must take care of. Right now I know of only one living Warden assigned to all of Ferelden. That should be rectified. The others could aid you considerably. As you wish, Commander. The time has come for us to begin the joining. I shall speak the words that have been said since the first. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand, vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten, and that one day we shall join you. From this moment forth, Agron, you are a Grey Warden. What's this, the sampler size? Are you trying to say something about my height? Huh? Uh, this is the goblet we've always used. Really? <laughs> Not bad. Hmm. Make her help us all. From this moment forth, Anders, you are a Grey Warden. So we need to drink Darkspawn blood? That's it? That is it, yes. Well, all right. But if I wake up two weeks from now on a ship bound for Ravain in nothing but my small clothes and a tattoo on my forehead, I'm blaming you. Commander, and will awaken in time. From this moment forth, Myri, you are a Grey Warden. I have awaited this moment. I 
am sorry, Mari. May the Maker watch over you now. Poor Mari. Open the doors! The Commander must be informed about the Deep Road's entrance. It could be their base of operation. You'd have the Wardens chase a rumor then, Captain. And even if it proves true, unless the Pilgrim's path is cleared by the time your army assembles, they'll have nothing to eat but shoe leather. Garavel, Woolsey, the Commander has had a long day. Woolsey says some merchants escaped the Darkspawn. They can reprovision you for a reasonable fee. And the vigil is yours. Take whatever weapons and armor you need. We'll be waiting when you're ready. Warden Commander, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Mistress Wolsey, sent by order of the First Warden at Whiteheart. I'm to act as treasurer of the Arling of Amaranthine. He believed local men could not be trusted for this post. One of those local men is right here, Mistress Wolsey. I have every confidence in the vigil's loyalty in the matter of arms. But gold corrupts even the most resolute soul. Not Weishaupt itself. I am from many places. I go where the Wardens command. Sir, the Arling is on the brink of economic collapse. Trade must flow. Merchant caravans are being systematically attacked somewhere along the Pilgrim's Path. It is the only route that can reliably provision an army, feed a city, and maintain civilization. A short-term thinker sees only immediate financial loss. But without essential supplies, we can expect mass starvation and anarchy. In the city of Amaranthine, there is a trader, Mervis, whose caravans have been hit particularly hard. He may know where along the road the Darkspawn, or whatever they are, are striking. The Fereldons are a proud people. They are proud of you, especially. Had the First Warden sent foreign fighters, it would have caused great distrust amongst the locals. Barrel was specifically chosen as Seneschal because he commands great respect here. Very well, Commander. Commander? This is Sir Garavel, the new Captain of the Guard. I have a matter to bring to your attention. My predecessor, Captain Rullins, and much of the senior staff were inside the keep proper at the time. How they met their fates is unknown. All we know is Darkspawn swarmed the keep. Barely any, truth be told, and none of the Wardens. But there are many soldiers still out patrolling the roads between here and Amaranthine. We can recover from this. I talked with the Dwarf Voldrick earlier. It's his belief, and I concur, that they came from the Keep itself. The Deep Cellars go very deep indeed. Voldrick suspects the Darkspawn found a hidden route into the Keep. That is... disturbing, Commander. But all throughout the lands we've heard rumors. Tales of new Darkspawn. Terrifying ones, forged out of nightmare and shadow. Something grave is afoot. Certainly. Potentially urgent. The Orlesians... Wardens, I mean, began gathering information while they were here. The most promising lead they found was a wild tale a couple of hunters told. These hunters, Colbert and, well, the other one, claim to have stumbled across an entrance to the deep roads. Darkspawn all over the place, they said. And this was before the fiends appeared throughout the whole Arling. The Wardens were just about to send someone to track down Colbert. One breeding ground, at least. Colbert and his friend are in the city of Amaranthine. Probably amongst the refugees outside the city gate. Commander. To business, then. Orle sent a dozen Wardens to the Vigil to await your arrival. Nearly all died in the attack, but Kristoff is still in the field. The Orlesian Wardens were uneasy that the Darkspawn weren't going to ground with the Blight ended. Kristoff was sent to track down some leads. A fortnight ago, he left in a bustle. As best we figure, he went to the city, Amaranthine. He did, but not to me. The Wardens keep their own counsel. Only so many places travelers visit. I check the inns and taverns. Wiser men than I have worried over that. 
One of the wardens said the Archdemon's strength gave the Horde some semblance of purpose. If they found some other purpose... <sighs> That's the only thing that needs immediate attention. Do you want something else, Commander? As much as you like, sir. Generally, the Keep's Seneschal takes care of day-to-day -day matters. If anything important arises, I'll alert you. We call her the Vigil. She's been around for a long spell. They say the Alamari Barbarians first built a fort here to stop Tevinta incursions from the lowlands of the Waking Sea. They say that the castle is built on a mountain of bones. Much death here. Ah! Who, who's there? I was, uh, I was just keeping my nose to the dust, you know, watching out for the Schleets. One of the lads here told me about the Schleets. Said they're common in Ferelden. They, they lie on the ground, looking like ordinary pairs of pants, until you turn around. That's when they, they strike. Right, right! You've heard of them! Pants that eat your eyeballs! After they're done with you, they just wander off on their unnatural pant legs! Best part? Come on, I've been on the surface less than two years. I don't know what's up here. That Jacob's gonna get it when I get my hands on him. Blimey, Commander of the Grey. Right. A while back, they caught a thief in the vigil. Took four wardens to capture him. Gave one of the wardens a black eye, he did. Half joking, they said he might make a good recruit. He's in the dungeon, sir. I also have some letters. Arrived just before you did. Just... Give me a moment. Ah, Warden Commander. I represent Master Wade, the finest. And bloody coldest. I can't feel my fingers. <clears throat> finest armorer in Denerim. <laughs> I thought, well, we thought that you might have need of an armorer. My one glittering moment. The highlight of my career. And now I'm stuck at Turnip Keep. Vigil's keep. Vigil! Sorry, Warden Commander. You know how he gets. This is a temporary relocation. The Darkspawn are most active around Amaranthine. We thought we could help. And I suppose the money the Crown paid us had nothing to do with it? Shh! Providing arms and armor for common soldiers. Oh, dear dignity. If we are going to be so dreadfully plebeian, I don't suppose Amaranthine has any proper medal. Silverite? Viridium? Or are we back to bronze weapons? Stone clubs? Wade has uh, a point. He's happiest and fastest when presented with a challenge. If you come across any deposits of ore, let us know. Commander, so this is human construction, is it? My brother said you'd need a stonemason, but he didn't know the half of it. You're too kind. The Darkspawn did a number on this keep of yours. But I suspect it was crumbling well before they showed up. Your Seneschal gave me some fancy decree promising men and monies to fix the vigil. But it's a paltry sum. I suppose it would be sufficient to reconstruct the walls to human standards. But who'd want that? I'm not certain of the character of the stone in these parts, but we'd need more men for certain. Proper skilled men, not some starving dusters, right? Which all boils down to coin, really. It will be, Warden. Good luck to anyone who tries to breach these walls. Ah! Ah, Commander. Good thing you're here. This one's been locked up three nights now. Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. He won't give his name. All I know is he was caught poking around the estate in the middle of the night. I'd say he was just a thief. But it took four Grey Wardens to capture him. You best be careful. Whoever he is, he's no ordinary burglar, that's for sure. 
As you wish, Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what you decide to do with this man. If it isn't the great hero, conqueror of the Blight and vanquisher of all evil, aren't you supposed to be ten feet tall with lightning bolts shooting out of your eyes? It does. I know you best as the one who murdered my father. I am Nathaniel Howe. My family owned these lands until you showed up. Do you even remember my father? My father served the hero of Riverdane and fought against the Orlesians, yet our family lost everything. I came here. I thought I was going to try to kill you, to lay a trap for you. But then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. It's all I have left. That was the plan. Look, I know you're a hero. You fought a war and you won, and to the victor go the spoils, right? Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The house are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks to you. And now you get to decide my fate. Ha. Ironic, isn't it? I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. Hunting, scouting, poisons. Why? What do you care? The Darkspawn are a menace. If it weren't for the Blight, maybe my father would never have done what he did. But I can't do anything about them, can I? There's just you and the Grey Wardens, here in my home. You're right. I'll go join King Alistair's service immediately. He'd be certain to give a how another chance. If you let me go... Uh, I don't know. I only came back to Ferelden a month ago. If you let me go, I'll probably come back here. You might not catch me next time. I could lie, if you prefer. Already? Good. I brought the Seneschal for you, Commander. I see you've spoken to our guest. Quite the handful, isn't he? Have you decided what's to be done with him? Uh, how? He figures that they would turn up again. The Howes are implacable enemies, Commander. You're doing what? Commander, that... I must object. You want to let a thief keep what he stole? Yes, Commander. You heard the verdict. Come with me so you can collect your things. I hope you know what you're doing, Commander. Look at that! <laughs> Was Andraste really that much of a looker? Don't you think she would have been, I don't know, a barbarian? Just wondering aloud. After all, Andraste did exist, didn't she? What would she have thought of the Circle of Magi? Forcing mages to fight demons, or be made tranquil? No doubt you're right. Seems to me that Andraste counseled men to seek their own path to the Maker, but the Chantry uses her words as a reason to collar us just for being who we are. Says the fellow mage. Oh well, she's still quite a looker for a prophet. I'm just saying. I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still Darkspawn in the Vigil. Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of Darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. Straight away, sir. Here we are. The vigil goes deep. Real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. And that blasted Dworkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favours. I don't know, but no one saw the Darkspawn approach on the surface either. 
Maybe they found a way to attack from below. No one knows. The Vigil's always been here. Since the Barbarians, they say. Who knows what's at the bottom? You heard the Commander. Put your backs into it. This is where you come in. Who knows what's up ahead? We'll be back here. She couldn't have shown us the courtesy of waiting a bit longer before becoming a ghoul. You murdered a slew of Darkspawn there. I... well... You hear the stories about you and the Wardens. But to see it firsthand... Oh, they did too. Even though the attack was a surprise, they killed droves of Darkspawn. Just ask the poor maids who have to clean it up. But you? You're something else. Anyway, it looks like the explosives caved this section in. I brought along Master Voldrick. So, this is how you humans ply your stonecraft. Disgraceful, that is. What, this would barely last a few centuries. I wager these passages may go far enough to connect to the deep roads. I. The Orlesian lads would have had a terrible surprise. Explains how experienced men fell to the Darkspawn. This is a grave matter. If we don't shut these tunnels, the Darkspawn can attack from below again. And trust his blood, there are basement entrances throughout the keep. There's no way to defend against that. Then we follow the tunnels and hope to find a single point to block off. Never you fear, lass. With the Warden's muscle in my stonecraft, we'll find a way. We'll need some time, but as soon as we clear it, we'll let you know. Of course.